Hello YouTube, Keith Davies here. Uh, for another Bible reading, please turn to Genesis chapter 12. I shall begin, I'm using the NIV version. Yeah. Okay. The Lord has said to Abraham, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse, and all peoples on the earth will be blessed through you. So Abraham went as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abraham was 75 years old when he set out from Haman, Haran. He took his wife Sarai, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had accumulated, and the people they had required in Haran. And they set out for the land of Canaan. And they arrived there, Abraham, Abraham traveled through the land as far as the site of the great tree of Moai. Moe at Thehem. At that time the Canaanites were in the land. The Lord said to Abraham and said to your offspring, I will give this land. So he built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. From there he went on towards the hill east of Bethel and pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and Al on the east. There he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. Then Abraham set out and continued towards Negev. Now there was a famine in the land and Abraham went down to Egypt to live there for a while because the famine was severe. As he was about to enter Egypt, he said to his wife Sarai, I know what a beautiful woman you are. When the Egyptians see you, they will say, This is my wife, they will, then they will kill me, but will let you live. Say you are my sister. So at that I will be treated well for your sake, and my life will be spared because of you. When Abraham came to Egypt, the Egyptians saw that Sarai was a very beautiful woman. And when Pharaoh's officials saw her, they praised her to Pharaoh, and she was taken into his palace. He treated Abraham well for her sake, and Abraham required sheep and cattle, male and female donkeys, male and female servants and camels. But the Lord inflicted serious diseases on Pharaoh and his household because of Abraham's wife's survey. So Pharaoh summoned Abraham. What have you done to me? He said. Why didn't you tell me she was your wife? Why did you say? She is my sister, so that I took her to be my wife. Now then, here is your wife, take her and go. Then Pharaoh gave orders about Abram to his men, and they sent him on his way with his wife and everything he had. So Abram went up from Egypt to the Negev with his wife and everything he had, and Lot went with him. Abraham had become very wealthy in livestock and in silver and in gold. From the Negev he went from place to place until he came to Bethel to the place between Bethel and Al where his tent had been earlier, earlier and where he had first built an altar there. Abraham called on the name of the Lord. Now Lot was moving about with Abraham and also had flocks and 
herds and tents, but the land could not support them while they stayed together, for their possessions were so great that they were not able to stay together. And following the wars between Abraham's herders and Lot's, the Canaanites and the Persites were also living in the land at that time. So Abraham said to Lot, Let's not have any quarreling between you and me, or between your children and mine, for we are close relatives. Is not the whole land before you? Let's part company. If you go to the left, I will go to the right. If you go to the right, I will go to the left. Look, uh, Lot looked around and saw that the whole plain of the Jordan towards Soar was well watered like a go the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt. This was before the land destroyed, uh, this was before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. So Lot chose for himself the whole plain of the Jordan and set out toward the east. The two men parted company. Abraham lived in the land of Canaan, while Lot um, lived among the cities of the plain and pitched his tent near Sodom. Now the people of Sodom were wicked and were sin sinning greatly against the Lord. The Lord said to Abraham, after Lot had parted from him, look around you where you are, to the north and south, to the east and west. All the land that you see I will give to you and your offspring forever. I will make your offspring like the dust of the earth, so that if anyone could count the dust, then your offspring could be counted. Go, walk through the length and breadth of the land, for I am giving it to you. So Abraham went to live near the great trees of Mom at Hebron, where he pitched his tent, where he built an altar to the Lord. And that is it for chapters 13 to four and 12. And Next time I'll be reading uh, chapters 14 and 15.